So I'm going to go to model and show hide items and I'm just going to click on show grid. Then I'm going to come over to tools and I'm going to go to preferences and we go to the appearance section and we're looking for the grid section within that. Uh, things that are relevant to us are going to be line count, uh, cell size, and by default this will be set to pixels, but I want it to be in meters and have a cell size of one, which means it's, the grid will be a one meter grid. And I'm going to apply that, press OK. Now if I press seven, sorry, if I press five, I'll turn off uh, perspective in an orthographic view. I can scroll out and I can see my rock is already close to the origin from this viewport. But if I press one on the keyboard to go into the side view or front view, uh, I can see that my rock is actually below the grid. So if I just click on the transform tool and move object like that, and if I click on that blue axis, I can move my rock up. And now my rock is sitting on the grid. I can go back to the top view, which is seven on the keyboard. I can maybe just move my rock across a little bit like that. Uh, and from here, I can scale my rock in relation to the grid now. So I have some kind of uh, measurement of how large my rock is. So if I just uh, left click in the viewport like this, I can drag like that and change the scale of my rock to something more appropriate. I think this rock was about 50 centimeters, so it's probably maybe roughly something like that. 